everyone. Thanks for pressing play. You are watching a brand new episode of Talking Comics, Excalibur CCG TV, where every week we come together to tell you about the great comics that are hitting the shelf for the week. This week we are talking about July 13th. Tons of great comics hitting the shelf this week. I am Chris. This is my co-host Randy. We are Excalibur Comics, Cards and Games here in Shreveport, Louisiana, as well as in Texarkana, Texas. You can always find out what's going on with us at our website, ExcaliburCCG.com. Or check us out on Facebook and Twitter. The links are down below. Items are posted to those places daily. Tons of stuff to cover this week, bro. Lots of books coming out. But we do have a big announcement. Yes, we do. What is that? Uh, August 19th through 21st, we are going to have GeekCon returning to Shreveport for the second year. Yes. And Excalibur Comics in Shreveport has tickets. They're two-day tickets. Yes. That's Saturday and Sunday. You can go to the preview night Friday. I think it's $5 to get in, something like that. Right. Um, and you can get your shopping out of the way so that you can then stand in line, meet everybody on Saturday and Sunday. But uh, those tickets are available here for $20. If you pick up an adult pass, you get one child 12 and under and free. I think if you have more than uh, children than adults uh, with passes, it's going to be five dollars for each child uh, that is 12 and under. One of the cool things they just announced today is that uh, very good news for me. Uh, uh, Walt, uh, whatever his name is, he's he's the uh, X Pac wrestler is oh, yeah, not yeah. appearing. Right. Uh, I don't know why. Don't really care. Better news is that. John Morrison from WWE, or better known now as Johnny Mundo from Lucha Underground, will be taking his place. And phenomenal wrestler, guys. Cool. Very good wrestler. And I just I, I just want to say this, because Chris was blown away by this phenomenon probably about two or three years ago. Two, Probably about two years ago. He had gone down to uh, Houston, checked out a couple of different comic shops, yeah. and uh, he, he walked into a couple and saw... That uh, they're selling like replica belts. They yeah. have uh, you know this and that, and he's, he's like, "What is this?" It's like, "Well, wrestling is a pretty big thing, and mm -hmm. and it's a pretty big phenomenon within geek culture." Yeah. With and, and so there are a lot of people who are shocked by that. Well, because geek culture is more than just what you like. It's it, that's why I prefer like pop culture. You know, it covers more things. You know, geek always reminds me of more like Poindexter or something like that. <laughs> right. But but so uh, so you know, people are shocked by this. I'm thrilled by this yeah. because Johnny Mundo's awesome. Cool. So uh, I and, and I, I even asked him. I was like, Can I, how much is it? To touch his abs. <laughs> dude, the dude has a freak of nature phenomenal abs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, this, this guy does not have that. <laughs> but, but no, so so he's added to the list yep. Uh, yep. that, like we said, uh, and, and there are other people that I just haven't mentioned, guys, because there are tons. George Perez, Tara Reid, yep. um, Elvira, uh, uh, Dante from Clerks. Uh, yeah, is, Byron Hollerin. Yeah, is there? They they've got a couple of wrestlers. Yep. Uh, they've got lots of people. Yep. It's fun. Yeah, coming here, meeting people that uh, you know may not usually show up because I don't see a lot of these names show up on the Dallas uh, rosters a lot of times. So it's we're getting to meet someone new. Yeah, It'd be very cool. Yeah. So guys, mark your calendars, August nineteenth, twenty first. $20 weekend passes are what we have. It's that Friday night, it's all day Saturday, all day Sunday. We're going to be there. We're going to have a blast. <laughs> yes. Guys, we're going to dive into some new number ones. We have a lot of storylines to cover, some of our favorites, and we want to pick your brain as well before this episode is over. So let's dive into some new number ones. Starting off with DC, we still got some more Rebirth titles yes. hitting this week. Starting with Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, Rebirth, number one. This is by Robert Vendetti, Ethan Van Syver, Skyver, however you want to pronounce that. They are teamed up again, uh, teamed up for Hal Jordan and Green Lantern Rebirth. This takes a look. The Green Lantern Corps has been gone. And now the Sinestro Corps are the ones that are roaming the galaxy, protecting everyone. But there is still a green light that is burning. And Hal Jordan must harness the rest of his willpower and become the one-man Green Lantern Corps that is needed to take down this greatest foe and restore freedom to the cosmos. 
Will he do it by himself completely? I don't know if anybody else is going to be joining him or not. <laughs> well, he's we're, being called the one man Green Lantern Corps. We are talking about Hal Jordan. So, you yeah. know, there we go, guys. So, guys, Hal Jordan, the Green Lantern Corps, Rebirth number one drops this week. Check it out. Yeah, we've also got Nightwing Rebirth finally showing up here. A lot of people have been asking about it. Tim yep. Seeley, Yannick Paquette. Love this create, uh, creative team here. Dick Grayson returns to reclaim his life, the life that was kind of, you know, pulled away from him without his his um, uh, um, allowance, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. I'm, I'm losing the word there. But now he's he's wants it back. He yeah. wants to be Nightwing. He's no longer Grayson, agent of Spiral. And uh, the, the bad thing about all that is just about the time that he shows up, there's a, a big enough threat that threatens to take him away from the, uh, from Gotham again already. Yeah, exactly. So we'll see we'll see what goes on there. Um, beautiful looking art. Yeah, it does look great. It does look great. <laughs> Guys, just in case you needed one, new Superman, number one dropping this week, the introduction of the Chinese Superman, Kenan, or Kenan, Kong. Uh, an impulsive act of heroism thrusts an arrogant young man into the limelight of Shanghai as China begins to form its own Justice League. When the world needed a hero, Randy, China made one. Sweet. New Superman number one drops this week by Gene Yang, uh, who was doing some of the Superman work Action before Comics, her. Action yeah. Comics. And Victor Bogdanovich, uh, who you can see in that in that cover image on the screen that we just showed here just a moment ago. But guys, new Superman number one, Chinese Superman in association with, it looks like possibly a Chinese Justice League. Yeah. So we will get to find out even more about that with this new number one dropping this week. There have been a lot of people coming in, uh, signing up for that. Yeah. And, and just to give you a little more understanding, because he says an arrogant young man, that's the whole thing, is he's this arrogant young man. Whatever they use, whatever they do, it changes his heart. So he becomes much more of the... Uh, the the Clark Kent super heroic you know do gooder than what he originally was really so, yeah that's okay. that's the way that that uh, Yang described it okay so, I, I'm excited for that cool we've got uh, Colin Bunn back at Dark Horse now riding Conan it's called Conan the Slayer number one with this Conan he's half dead and uh, shows up. At this encampment that is surrounded by Kazaki, we'll say that, Kazaki Raiders. And the big question is, are they going to be allies for Conan? Because he definitely needs them. He's out in this desert. He's, he's, he's uh, dying of thirst. He's, you know, got the, uh, this, who are they? The Turanian, uh, hot on his tail. Or are they going to have to be more people that he just kind of add to a list of having to <laughs> take down? We'll see. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Look at I'm, I'm gonna check that out. I'm willing to give Colin Bunn a chance with something like this. And Colin Bunn seems to really be stretching outside of Marvel and DC. Yeah. Uh, a lot of stuff out there, guys. Last one that we're covering for this week. Very interesting premise to me. I think Randy was kind of interested. I don't know. He's very eclectic. Very eclectic. But guys, did you know that survival isn't just a human instinct? That's right. That's what's explored this week in Horizon, number one, by Brandon Thomas and Juan Gideon. This takes a look at an alien lady, Zia Malin, and she thought she had fought her very last war until she learned that her planet was being targeted for occupation by none other than planet Earth and the humans <laughs> there. The people of Earth will be told that her arrival on their planet means invasion, but those are lies. It's retaliation. She is fighting for the survival of her planet from planet earth so i'm, I'm totally digging the, the twist uh, on that it's the so, second book that has a twist with earth because empress is doing the same thing exactly yeah. exactly it is it is so guys those are the new number ones that we're covering for this week several great ones for you to check out especially all of you dc fans and you're digging into the rebirth stuff even more for you to check out let's dive into some storylines which primarily are civil war ii uh, storyline events but Let's dive in, starting with none other than Civil War II, number three, dropping this week. Look, guys, the solicitation info for this just said classified. But rumor has it another major character is supposed to die in this issue. Will we see that? I don't know. And I wouldn't spoil it for you if I did know. <laughs> but there we go. Still even more events and ramifications and consequences happening with Civil War II, number three, dropping this week. Yeah. Lots more, like he said. Yes. We've got Civil War 2, Amazing Spider-Man number 2. Yeah. 
within this one, it's been predicted by Ulysses that someone in, Sp in Spider-Man's life is turning traitor. Hey, would you look at that? Harry Osborn's in the book. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> so, guys, also Civil War II choosing sides. Number two drops this week. A major loss, of course, sends shockwaves throughout the superhero community, forcing everyone to re-examine their alliances and whether or not they chose the right side. This takes a look at Nick Fury, War Machine, and Tom Foster, a.k.a. Goliath, in this issue. Yeah. Civil War II, Gods of War, number two. Uh, takes a look at Hercules apparently being the only person that that, uh, that knows about a threat that's yes. happening. Why? Because all the other heroes are involved with uh, fighting each other or chasing after each other. I don't know what they're doing uh, right now. But instead of ha uh, calling upon his, his regular uh, go-to guys, he's going to call on a couple of other friends of his, uh, more ancient, more mythical heroes. Uh, Heroes, so it should be interesting to see who we get. I'd like to see more of an eclectic group, not just getting gods, but but other maybe demigods or something. Uh, probably we'll have Gilgamesh in there, won't you? Yes, he is, <laughs> he is in there. And I, oh, really, I, I really like the the idea for this series of being of, of there being another actual world devastating threat going on yeah. while civil war is happening. That Hercules is the only one that knows about, and basically the only one with his with his gods of war that yeah. can even take care of it. So yeah, I'm 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 digging this series. I dug the first issue. I, th I like the first issue. I'm cool. checking this one out, guys. We got also got Agents of Shield number seven dropping this week. The Agents of Shield are thrust into the middle of a war between heroes. Nothing will ever be the same for Shield itself. And we're also taking a look at this storyline having lasting ramifications for Coulson and his agents as well. So there you go, guys. Within Deadpool number fifteen, the Mercs for Money look like they are splitting away from Deadpool. The only thing I have to say about this, Marks for Money, is look at what happened to the rest of the members of Destiny Child when they split away from Beyonce. <laughs> Nobody remembers their names. Nobody knows what happened to them. Stay with them. <laughs> I mean, they'll try and do something with, with Deadshot, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or slapstick. Yeah, uh, that's exactly. slapstick. But come on, <laughs> people are going to forget about it. Exactly. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. New Avengers 13 drops this week. This takes a look at the Maker as he reveals his plans for Earth, his master plan for Earth. Aim is in hiding from the forces of Shield. So what greater time could there be for the Revengers to strike? Plus, what's going on with Dum Dug Dugan, and what's Songbird going to do about it in this issue? We'll find out. What? In uh, Power Man and Iron Fist number six, I believe this is the last one of the Marvel uh, or the Civil War tie-ins that we're looking at this week. Uh, Luke might just end up back where he hates it most. I'm guessing that's probably prison. Uh, <laughs> I, I was thinking too. I don't know. That's, uh, that's the first thing that came to mind. Uh, the band has just gotten back together. Is Civil War already threatening to tear them apart? That's the big question that's being asked right here. No. Uh, we'll find out. I, I kind of, I'm going to throw this prediction out there real quickly. I'm, I'm fearful that maybe there's some something that's going to not end well for Luke Cage. Uh, maybe not just prison, but maybe he's the guy that we, we see because, you know, you have Jessica Jones at the forefront in the, the little teaser image we showed last right. week. And you have their older or their child older from the future, but there's no Luke Cage anywhere. Ah. I don't know. Don't know. Good one. Just, just, just thinking that. Good, good <laughs> speculation out there. A little, little, little thought chum out there for you guys. Uh, all new X Men number eleven drops this week. Apocalypse Wars. This is the conclusion for that. This takes a look at the, this question: Will the lessons that Evan learned in the past seal his fate or enable him to avert becoming the destructive force that we know as Apocalypse within the Marvel universe? So we get to take a look at that. That Apocalypse Wars wraps up this week. And, and we were kind of like, when is this? When is it? When is this wrapping up? Because I think we missed a week or two without well, covering it. I don't think that they, they have listed part one, part two, or, or <laughs> of this. So I didn't know. It was, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was a bit, it wasn't every week. It wasn't every week. Uh, so no. there we go, guys. So new number ones and storylines for you to check out. And like I mentioned before, I, I, I'm totally on board the Civil War II series itself, but the Civil War Gods of War as well with Hercules has been pretty cool as well. Tell us in the comments below what you're checking out, what you're excited for this week. And guys, now you know what time it is. It's time for our favorites, some of the first books that we will read that will be at the top of our stack of comics that we take home. 
Randy, what's up for you, bro? I've got Action Comics 959 coming out, and with this one, Superman and Lex Luthor are going to have to team up together if they have any chance of stopping Doomsday. Uh, meanwhile, you have Lois that is trying to do everything within her power to convince Jonathan he needs to stay put, otherwise he could be facing a life or death situation himself. Exactly. Uh, we've also got, I've got uh, Harrow County number 14. Emmy's learning more and more about uh, the these this brood of people that are calling themselves uh, her family. And uh, the more she learns about it, the more she's being drawn into this and it could mean dire consequences for her and for Harrow County. And then uh, finally, in Wonder Woman number two, that's going to be year one, part one. This, you uh, know, even odds tell different stories. Uh, okay. Numbers here. And this is the Nicholas Scott drawn okay, story good. with this. This is going to be taking a look at the definitive uh, year one for Diana, her first year of being uh, the Earth's protector. So cool. that's what Rock is bringing to the table for this story. Here. Very cool. Very cool. I, I, I could. It may, I read Wonder Woman number one, and I had almost forgotten about Nikola Scott being, or, or Nikola Tesla, as I once referred to. Did you? I did in an episode before. But guys, uh, Detective, Detective Comics 936 drops this week. Really looking forward to this. Batman is MIA. As you saw at the last end of that last issue, and now Batwoman is stepping up with a team that's barely worked together. Plus, they still have the wild card of Clayface mixed in there. I'm really digging Detective Comics at this time. Uh, Birthright number 17 drops this week from Image Comics. Looking forward to this because now, in this issue, it looks like we finally get to face the evil that has come back from this fantasy world in in Mikey's body and what they're going to do about it if they can even do anything about it. So I'm really looking forward to that. And of course, one of our favorites, Old Man Logan number 8 dropping this week. Logan is afraid that the past that he has already lived is going to happen all over again where he is now currently in the Marvel Universe. And he just may be right. So we'll get to find out even more about that with this epi with this uh, issue here dropping this week. Tons of great stuff to be checking A out. A whole lot. Man, I'm so excited. This past <laughs> week we had some really good stuff too. So guys, that's what's dropping. The number one the storyline, some of our favorites. You tell us what you're picking up in the comments below as well. And even tell us what your answer for our question of the week is, because it is time for the question of the week. And we're going to veer off the beaten path a little bit from what we have been covering. It's time to go to some of our roots and comics. Yeah. And guys, it's, I mean, we're halfway through the year now. Halfway through the year. Go ahead and add. So we're just wanting to know, at this juncture. At this at juncture. What is it that you're enjoying most from the companies that you're that you pick up? What's what's your favorite Marvel book that you're reading? Yeah. Uh, what's at the top of the stack for Marvel, for DC, for Image, and uh, other companies? You know, it could be IDW, it could be Boom, it could be you know, you know whatever yeah. there. So you know, what are the favorite books that you're picking up right now? Um, I, I'll, I'll run through it real quickly with you. Cool. Marvel might surprise you guys because I'm not a Wolverine fan, but it's probably, and I've got some heads and tails here, it's probably either going to be all new Wolverine or Old Man Logan. Yeah. Both of those books I enjoy thoroughly every single time yeah. I read them. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm, I don't know, maybe the, the uh, just great teams. The David Lopez hasn't been drawing uh, Wolverine for a little bit, so maybe Old Man Logan. Uh, DC Comics right now, and and I'm not a Superman fan, but Action Comics yeah. has just been the cat's meow. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> um, image is, is probably no surprise. Uh, as many people as there are that probably talk about and, and rave about Saga, Lazarus is just... Oh. I mean, I love Saga, but Lazarus just it, it goes so much further for me. And then Independent, that's a tough call yeah, right now. One of them's here on the list that you're reading, you know? One of your yeah, favorites. Yeah, you know? Harrow County has continued yeah. to be one of the top ones. Uh, if it's not Harrow County, what Matt Kent is doing with Department 8 oh, good. is spectacular. Yeah. And then the buzz, and it's it's now an ongoing series uh, here, not just a miniseries. Joyride has uh. been Phenomenal, yeah. fun book. Marcus Toe's art is beautiful to look at. Yes, and it's—I mean—the coloring on the book. I mean, it almost looks like a 
what Matt Wilson is that who who does a lot of the yeah. McKelvey stuff? Yeah. It almost looks like his style of coloring. I'll have to look and see who's doing that. That's cool. So there you have it. I've got a couple of them. Hopefully, uh, some of them you guys are reading there uh, and, and enjoying as well. What about you? Um, Mar- for Marvel, for Marvel right now, probably Moon Knight. Hey, that's yeah. Followed closely by Punisher. Digging those. Uh, I've only read two so far. I haven't read the late, latest one. Okay. Beautiful uh, cover. Yes. Yes. That <laughs> cover was so awesome. It's probably uh, one of the best covers I've seen in a while. Seriously. Yeah. Seriously. Really great cover. Uh, DC Comics right now. Detective Comics is my favorite right now. Yeah. Easily. It is. It is. I'm not going to say anything about anything else, but Detective Comics. And I was impressed by Aquaman number one. Uh, also, uh, so Image from Image. Oh, man, yours are on my list, but right now my favorites from Image, I have to say two. It would be Injection and East of West. East of West. Those would be, those are, those are, those are tied for number one. I love those books from Image Comics, plus so many others. God, I, I'm just limiting it. And then, <laughs> and then outside of those, those three, you know, Dark Horse, whoever else, uh, uh, Paybacks. It was a Dark Horse. Now it's coming out next week, uh, next apparently, week, yeah. from uh, Heavy Metal. Yeah. Uh, they're doing comics now. Uh, love that series, man. That creative team is great. Yeah. It is great. The whole concept of the team and all that. Love the, create, love the creative team. The writing and the art are fantastic. Love, love, love it. Uh, those are just some, some of the ones yeah. right there. Some of my favorites, easily, yeah. of those companies. Uh, and the top of, top of my stacks, you know. I mean, they're the first things that I read right. easily. And I think I probably... I may venture out... From the into the independence a little more than you. Uh, you probably I, do. I think, to be I, honest. I think I do. You you do have your handful of uh, dark horse that you'll read. Yeah, I do some boom or, and or IDW. Boom and IDW. Or, uh, do you do some IDW? Uh, uh, do I, 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 I do time? I do when Rocketeer comes out. Yeah, exactly. Right. You know. Uh, 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 also, there's some stuff coming out from after. There is some stuff coming from aftershock. Aftershock. Yeah. I'll be checking out. Uh, I haven't I haven't gotten into anything that's going on with them right now. Valiant. Has some stuff that's going to be coming out later this year that I will be Are you into. Looking forward to the Britannia book. I am looking forward yeah. to the Britannia book. I really am. I'm real. I'm, that's I'm on board for that. I'm totally on board for that. And there's so many. There's there's Marvel, DC, Image, Dark Horse, Boom, IDW, Dynamite, Dynamite, Aftershock, Oni. Valiant, Oni, Heavy Metal now. Titan Comics is... Titan's doing stuff. Yeah. I mean, that's 12 companies just off the top of my head. You know, it's, it's just every week when we try to get the video together for you guys, yeah. it's like, it's, it's we're, you know, we're really trying to, we're mainly focusing what, on what we do bring our customers because that's what they order and that's right. what they show an interest in. But it's different for every comic shop across the, the world. You know, but we, we scan, Randy and I and Buzz and I, we scan through these lists of all these companies, man, to yeah. try to bring the pertinent stuff. So... Yeah, guys, tell us. Tell us in the comments below your favorite Marvel, your favorite DC, your favorite Image, and then your favorite Independent outside of those three. Yeah. Uh, and, and and one or two. Don't don't go crazy. Come on. Yeah. Come on, focus. We want you to focus. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I, it, for me, right now, it, it, with Independent, that Department H, man. It's, I've read the first that issue. That is so good. And, and here's the thing. Every single book... That I pick up, well, I'll make a list, and every single book that's going to be new, I have it already marked as I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with this because I'm, <laughs> I'm always wanting to keep my list at a certain number, and so I'm always very critical of a new book when it comes out. Right, right. And I was pretty set and determined. Go, no, I just I, I don't think. And and what a fool I was because that book has just gotten better and better. The story that they're telling and you know Matt Kent's art, it, it's it's something that's very different, but it, it tells the story very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I mean, yeah. That's uh, and and uh, I've been very impressed. I, I don't currently read anything. Oh, the other one too, uh, Generation Zero from Valiant. That Archie no. meets the authority type concept no. that they were talking about. I, I I'm not currently getting anything from Valiant, but I've been very impressed with them because they kind of remind me of CrossGen back in the day with the quality of what they're putting out and the stable roster of creative people yeah. that they are constantly using that are just putting out just some of the best stuff, some of the best yeah. looking stuff out there. I know it sounds hypocritical for me to say they're doing so well when I'm currently not reading anything from them. Just haven't been interested in a lot of stuff they put out, but that's about to change later this year. I'm going to be checking out more of their stuff. Well, the thing they've been able to do that other people haven't is that they're great artists, 
yeah. that for some reason you don't have the major studios using, and they're they're yeah. going okay, we'll use them to on our book then. And it's like why? Exactly. Are, are they not putting them on this book? Why do you have fill in the blank on this book here when you could be looking at that art there? <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's that's the big company's loss. Yeah. Whatever value, well, scoop them up and yeah. and work them to death. I mean, uh, yeah, tons of great people and a lot of Matt Kent and Jeff Lemire were yeah. there at value they, as well. They got smart and let these guys kind of uh, get their hands on and, and write a ship because Valiant started off strong and then it kind of started. You know, uh, after a couple of years losing direction, and Kent and, and Lemire have really straightened that up. Yeah. So, yeah. Kudos to them. Definitely. Definitely so. So, guys, before we go any further and ramble and ramble on with all of our ideas about things, <laughs> good or bad, tell us. It's, it's, it's halfway through 2016. We had a lot of stuff wrap up with DC Comics and with this, I got this new rebirth going on. Tell us what. Currently, you're digging. What are you? What's your favorite book from each of these companies? We want to know. Let's have a conversation about it. You know, we love to talk in the comments below with you. So, guys, thanks to all of our new subscribers. Thanks for everybody joining us on YouTube, iTunes, Stitcher, websites. Thanks for being a part of our community. We really, really appreciate it. Anything else to add, sir? I'll be safe out there. Show love. To your neighbors, guys. Yes, I, th it's been a sad, sad week. It has, and, and uh, I, I want us. I want everything to to let's strengthen the community. I agree. <laughs> Golden rule. Show love. Yeah, let's do that. So, guys, until our next video, take care. Be safe. Read some great comics. Leave us some fantastic comments down below, and we will see you in our next video. Bye bye.